the broom handle. On our last vlog, we went around Orlando looking for Halloween stuff. In this part two of the vlog, we actually get to try them out. I think the best thing to start off with would be these amazing bath bombs that we found at Home Goods. They are called Witch's Poo Bath Bombs. Can somebody please tell me what that means? Do they mean poo like, like, like poopy? Or like caca? Or is it something else? Please let me know in the comments. But for now, we're gonna pretend they're just witch's brew bath bombs. Let's go ahead and try them out. Oh, it's like, it's moving fast. Boom. So I had, I love bath bombs, so I always have some on hand. And I was actually trying out some Crayola ones from Target. They were really not pigmented for like, being Crayola branded ones. So, but this, this is beautiful. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Yeah, no, I mean, like, you, can you already tell from there that like, it like actually colors your bath, which is what you want with bath bombs. I've had bath bombs where like the water looks exactly the same and I'm like, what's the point of that? This is beautiful. Very Instagram worthy. Well, my rating for this Wonderful witch's poo bath bomb from Home Goods, 10 out of 10. And I know they had other um, themed bath bombs. They had the witch's poo, they had like pumpkin one and like a ghost one, which I thought was really interesting. I don't think that one's like colored because like it's just white, but I'm, I'm sure it has like a really nice scent. Or who knows, maybe it has like glitter or something in it. Leave in the comments below if you want me to try those out or give me a like. So 10 out of 10 for that. Now let's move on to my Bath & Body Works product. So I actually got these another day that was separate from the vlog. I just kind of randomly like saw them and I was like, I need to have them. So I didn't record that, but here they are. Definitely go check out your Bath & Body Works as soon as possible, because these are gonna sell out quick. I can already tell. I've already seen several people with uh, the little hand sanitizer holder things and they're adorable. I had to get them. light up so cute what I liked about this one is that it came with like a little lanyard so you can either clip it to your bag with this little hook or you can put it on I like this one because I'm always on the go because of my job I'm always running around so I don't, I don't always have time to like go back and like wash my hands so this is really great to have so my hands are always nice and clean full disclosure I have been using this like I said I've been using it at work However, because I'm always running around, I haven't really had time to like really appreciate how it smells. But it's called I Pick You Pumpkin Apple. The two rivaling fall scents. The apple and the pumpkin. I have to say, I think I prefer apple. I'm an apple person, but I do love me a good pumpkin and this combines them, so I'm really excited. It also comes with the little like beads. Yeah, that's bad. Little exfoliating beads. Yeah, it has that too. Yeah, it's definitely more so apple than pumpkin, but it smells really good. It, it does give you that like fall. It smells like a it smells like a caramel apple spice from Starbucks. I'm not getting pumpkin from it at all, but it's very good. Let's go ahead and try this guy. So these come in a pair, or you can buy them separately as well, but they are complements of each other. And these are the special Halloween collection they have at Bath and Body Works. So um, if you go to Bath and Body Works right now, they have a whole Halloween collection. They have like a, a pumpkin apple, which is like what that hand sanitizer is, but they have it in a candle and they have it in lotion. And they also have vampire blood, which is what these are. I knew I had to go get these because the fact that the bottles say Happy Halloween. I actually saw these on Instagram and I was like, I need to go get those immediately. I'm actually gonna recycle them after they're done. I'm gonna put some like, some cute liquid in there and like put, put it in my witch's kitchen potion bottle collection. That's a good way to recycle plastic bottles and make them into cute little DIYs. So let's go ahead and try it. It's called Vampire Blood. Oh, it's clear. I guess Vampire Blood is clear. I was expecting like a deep red kind of like like the one in here. Like I know they have red, cause like I've seen it, like they have like a pumpkin scent. Yeah, but like the, the candy apple is red. Right, they have. They have red. They have red, like. I just think it's interesting that like they would have something called blood and it doesn't have like red. Not even any pigmentation, it's just. It's just clear. That's so weird. Oh, can you see that? <laughs> no. No, because it's clear. <laughs> the, the hand soap was red. So I was expecting this one to be red. I don't know why it's clear. But I guess 
If you need some information about vampire folklore, apparently, according to Bath and Body Works, their blood is clear. So I wasn't getting any. I was just getting like a generic soap scent. It's very light. Like, I can barely get any scent off of that. I think I smell it like that. So now that I have it like raw on my hand without like lathering it, it's, I'm getting more of a scent. It kind of smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> it's just really not what I pictured vampire blood smelling like. I, I guess I was picturing something a little more earthy, something like, I don't know, like cinnamon sticks. This, this, this just smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruit Loops with like, with Dawn, it smells like Dawn soap. Like if Dawn soap had like a, a scent that was like Fruit Loops. Like, <laughs> like it's, it's like Dawn soap, but it's Fruit Loops. So if you were looking for something that really like gives off a of vampire blood smell, I would definitely not recommend that scent wise. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but I would recommend getting it just for the cute bottles at the very least. Hopefully this one has more scent. This is one of the main scents. This is, this was just kind of like a, oh, hey, we're doing Halloween, you know? This is an actual fall collection. This is Happy Fall. And it's called uh, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Ah, <sighs> that just smells really pleasant. Maybe like a vanilla cinnamon candle. There's like, there's like an after smell that like I can't quite pinpoint. Yeah, it's almost like melony. It's like like the honeydew melons. Is that what they're called, honeydew? It smells like honeydew le uh, melons combined with like cinnamon and vanilla. It does give me a, a very fall vibe. So far, none of the like pumpkin scented, <laughs> scented of uh, bath products have smelled like actual pumpkin. Which I find very disappointing. I'll go back. If I see any more pumpkin ones, I'll grab them and see if those actually smell like pumpkin. And I'll let you know. Well, now I'm gonna dry off and try the lotion. So again, this is the same scent as this. So we'll see if it has any more scent in lotion form. Oh, yeah, this is a stronger smell. Okay, I don't know why, but I keep like getting Fruit Loops. Or like, you know, like if you go get like snow cones, they have like Tutti Fruity. It smells like that or like Fruit Loops. That's what I'm getting. I mean, it's like, it's a pleasant smell. I just like, it's not what you would think is associated with like vampires and blood. But yeah, like something like cherry or apple or strawberry, literally any red scent, roses, rhubarb, anything. <laughs> Radishes, but like any red would have been better than maybe like... they're maybe it's modeled after um the red fruit loop. <laughs> the red fruit loop. So I'm gonna rank them. Of course, number one is Mr. Echo Lantern. I would say I would put these dead last, but if I had to put one of the other, I would say the lotion has a little bit of a stronger smell, if at all. In the middle, I would put the pumpkin cinnamon, and then first place I would put the apple pumpkin hand sanitizer. It doesn't smell too much like pumpkin, but it does have a really great scent. It smells very apple-y. It still gives you a really great fall vibe, whatever you want to call it. It's it's very pleasant and it, it, it's, it lasts too, because like I've tried all of this and I'm not getting any of that, but I'm still getting the hand sanitizer. Well, anyways, thank you for joining me in my now very beautifully teal emerald green bathtub. I will see you in a little bit to try out our snacks. Welcome back. Hello. On our last vlog, we got all of these yummy snacks at the different stores we went to. Yes. I did, however, want to start with the snack that I wasn't able to get my hands on that day. So we went to Universal and we went to go look at the tribute store. We had some tribute store snacks as well. But as you know, the quintessential, like iconic, icon, icon, ick, <laughs> is pizza fries. However, because of my night shift at the dentist, I'm not able to get them at night, so AJ made them for me <laughs> with stuff he bought at Target. Yes, this is all Target. Um, so it's just a crinkle cut fries. Uh, you have some mozzarella cheese, uh, tomato sauce that I turned into sort of like a pizza sauce, and then uh, pepperoni on top. Super I, simple. It looks so good. Um, it looks just like the one from Universal. The only difference is that they have like some other meat on top of it. I think it's like like sausage. Yeah, but it's I don't like sausage on my pizza, so I'm I've heard it's also spicy, so the, then this is not spicy. Yeah, I can't have spicy stuff if you guys didn't know that. Yes. So, so I, I did the fries.
fries alone first. About like halfway through, I then put it all together. So then I put like the sauce and the cheese and the pepperoni and blah, blah, blah. I think I would have liked to bake these or maybe like air fry them mm. a little bit longer. They are a little bit soft still, but that's okay. Hashtag master chef. Yes, you are. I love you. I'm gonna put a big grab. That's like <laughs> master <laughs> chef. <laughs> They are really delicious, and you can, I mean, the great thing about making pizza fries on your own is you can make it however you want. I don't know if they have different, like, flavors of pizza, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they have just cheese or just pepperoni, or if they I have, think like... It, I think it's just, like, pizza fries. Like, it's just one pizza fry. But if you do happen to be at Halloween Horror Nights, be sure to try those pizza fries because they definitely are worth it. They are delicious, and also that, um, the... Spiral state potato. Twisted potato. Twisted potato. Twist yeah. oh, sorry. It's like on I street. literally, like I said, I work at the dentist, so I should know this, but like I'm not, I don't have access to the food at the moment. Yeah. And now, next we're gonna try some fall colored pasta that we got at Trader Joe's. That's about as much as they had as far as fall snacks. They they had really just like pasta and like some yogurt, which we're gonna try later. Yeah. They haven't. I know the Trader Joe's does like Halloween, like tortilla chips and stuff like that, but they're not out yet. It's so. probably gonna drop like October. So like, keep an eye out for that. But in the yeah. meantime, these are beautiful. This looks like a bag of fall leaves. I think the packaging said that it was 100% organic, so it's all just like naturally colored and all that, which is really cool. So I'm definitely curious to try them because I've had some pasta from Trader Joe's and it really is hit and miss sometimes. Like, oh my god, the black, the black bean pasta. I don't it's, know if we didn't cook it right, but I like followed the instructions like to the letter and it's just so gummy it's, and it's like bad. I didn't like it. So we made this actually like a teriyaki uh, pasta because you know we were already having the tomato sauce. Right. Um. So they're they're a little darker now. It's a shrimp teriyaki. But um, before I added like that sauce, it was very vibrant. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Very springy. Very, what is it? Al dente. <laughs> Al dente, yeah. Full disclosure, I don't know if it means good or bad or. All right. Like whole... if you like threw it at the wall, it would stick. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what it means. If I'm wrong, please tell me. But yeah, that's honestly, what I think it means. Get in the comments. Tell us how wrong we are. I'm not a big noodles guy. Um, I don't like spaghetti all that much. I don't like want to like noodle dishes, but I really like this. Because they're so short too, it just, it feels, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of creative issues you can come up with with just using these noodles. So, I just had another bite. And the as far as the pasta itself, it's not at all like the black bean pasta. It's No. It has the perfect texture. It's, like you said, springy. It's, it's not too soft because, like, I don't know, I don't like pasta that's, like, falling apart in my mouth. No. It holds its shape really well. What would you say these are? Like, they're not exactly rotini. They're like, they're like ruffly rotini. Yeah. <laughs> they're really, they're, they look like little caterpillars. I, I will be getting these again. Same, they're, they're I, great. I really like them. I want to do them with like a white sauce, maybe. Maybe like a pink sauce. Ooh, like a pink sauce, yeah. I dare say even macaroni. <laughs> oh, that like would be really good. macaroni and cheese. No, that'd be fantastic. But like, like a fancy macaroni, cause like yeah. it's a very pretty pasta. It would be a shame to just cover it in yellow. So like maybe try some like white cheeses. Yeah. No, I, I'd be I'd be down for that. that yeah, cool. We, we gotta try all of them. Now. I'm gonna do a lot with these. I like them a lot. All right, well, let's move on to our next product. Yay. So this one I'm really excited about cause this reminds me of the kind of like hot chocolate I had as a kid, as we call it, the, the gas can hot chocolate. Uh, we got this at Home Goods. Hopefully you can see that. So it's sparkly orange, colorful hot chocolate. So it's like Halloween colors. I think it's just purple and orange, and then like yeah. regular with like fancy tins. Yeah. It was actually really interesting because when I opened this, I was very disappointed. Why? What, because what it's white. Is it really? The powder is white. Um. So I, I poured it in, and then like I'm not, I'm not sure how well you can see. Look at that. Look at how orange that is. Oh, by the way, like this is not pumpkin flavored. Hot chocolate, it's just hot chocolate. It's just orange hot chocolate. All right, let's try it. And I know that we're drinking these out of Christmas mugs, but they're the only white mugs we had and I wanted to show the orangeness of the hot chocolate. So get in the comments. What's that thing that they do when they wine test? They like... 
I've never heard of that. Yeah, you like suck it through your teeth or something like that. Why mm. though? What does that do? It's hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just, it kind of tastes like a white hot chocolate. Yeah, because it doesn't taste as rich as I thought it would. Yeah. Did, and how, I, how many spoonfuls did you put in? I did three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. And I oh. did a uh, half. Um, That's a lot. <laughs> half um, water, half almond milk. Okay. Like you said, it might just be white hot chocolate. Yeah, probably to like for the color. Because of the color, because like but maybe maybe the, the pur maybe the purple one was is like a darker. That's usually can, how it goes. We'll try that one. Yeah. Too. Well, the next thing we're gonna try are the Boo Oreos. You know them, I know them. We have them every year, but we wanted something to dip into our hot chocolate. Grab an Oreo. I got a little Boo ghost. Oh, Ooh. I didn't even see what I had. Oh, my same. This is Boo. That's Boo ghost. Yeah, cause like, I mean, on their own, Oreos are kind of nasty. You know? I disagree. I'll I'll eat Oreos dry with peanut butter, like in the Parent Trap. When I'm really desperate and there's no milk left, I will have them with water. I am that ghetto. I will do that. Jesus Christ. Mm. God, you're a monster. I am. So now that I made a mess on my mouth, our new pretty little jack o' lantern pump pumpkin yeah, napkins. Okay, yeah. There you go. From Target. Well, so now cute. on my side, they're upside down, so I got confused. No. So cute. I saw them and I was like, yeah. Why not? Oreos. They're great. Yeah. If you don't like them, then I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. The last thing we're gonna try is this yummy, well, I don't know mm. if it's yummy yet. Oh. I'm, I'm jumping the gun there. Some pumpkin flavored Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's. It was the only other Halloween thing they had other than yeah. it's not even Halloween, pumpkin it's just... candle. Mmm, it smells Greeky. Yeah, it just smells like, like Greek yogurt. Yes, these are spoons from Menchie's. We reuse them. I from yogurt land. Recycle! I love, that's honestly one of the reasons we go <laughs> to Wait. Menchie's. No, yeah, mine's from Menchie's, yours is from yogurt land. I was like, is this also from yogurt land? So. Ooh, this is very thick. Look at that, she thick. Two C's. Cause like I've had um, some Greek yogurt where like, it's it's solid and then has the liquid and then you have to mix oh, it yeah. together. It's all like watery It's gross. It's, it's not like, like this. Th that's just, it's just creamy. It's like, yeah, it's this thick. Just makes fire, right? It's thick.